Today we celebrate St. Catherine Drexel. Catherine Drexel, born in 1858 and died on March the 3rd in 1955 at the age of 97, Philadelphia heiress and foundress of the Missionary Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. She established some 49 foundations, including Xavier University. She was canonized in 2000 by Pope St. John Paul II. She is patroness of racial justice and philanthropists. She was daughter of a wealthy Philadelphia banker and heir to an enormous fortune. When she asked Pope Leo XIII to send more missionaries to help poor in America, he suggested she become a missionary herself. After overcoming her shock, she did, using her $12 million fortune to build missions and schools across America. In 1915, she founded Xavier University in New Orleans, the first university for African Americans in the United States. By the time of her death, she had more than 500 sisters teaching in 63 schools throughout the country, and she established 50 missions for Native Americans in 16 different states. Catherine was remembered for her love of the Eucharist and a desire for unity of all peoples. She was courageous and took the initiative to address social inequality within minorities. St. Catherine teaches about love for the Eucharist, racial justice, and seeking to help those in most need. I want to focus just on one point, racial justice. It is well known that all human beings are in the image and likeness of God. We have the Imago Dei. In a broader sense, all creation was created in the image of God because He is its creator. So for us as humans, if we are the image of God, that means that we have an intrinsic dignity that makes us all equal. Because we are humans, we were created in the image of God. We all have the same dignity independently of our race, skin color, culture, religion, or any social condition or personal preference. All of us are children of God. Sometimes we forget this equal dignity in both ways. We might treat others without taking care of their intrinsic dignity, leading us to a certain form of discrimination. On the other hand, we often forget our own intrinsic dignity and there are times when we feel depressed, unloved or less than others. But this is not true, we are so valuable, we have an intrinsic dignity that anybody can take out of us. Furthermore, we are loved by God. He has shared with us His image and likeness, so we are all worthy before God's eyes, even more because of our dignity because we are worthy, He sent His only begotten Son to save us. And His Son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross because of His love for us. From here, we come to the conclusion that in the Catholic Church, there is no place for discrimination in any way. It should be eradicated, but not allowing any discrimination, we are respecting the intrinsic dignity of all our neighbors and our own dignity too. As St. Catherine Drexel, by eradicating any form of discrimination and by recognizing your own intrinsic human dignity, you can be today the saint of the day.